I can't believe more than a week has gone by in a new month and I haven't told you about this month's coolest ball python in the world yet. It is time to get down to business. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your good buddy Adam from Proper Royals with another episode of the coolest ball python in the world. It is September 2021 and have I got a doozy for you this month. Hey, if we haven't met before, this channel is all about my family hobby and our family's journey from hobby to business. You can keep up with everything going on by subscribing and checking us out here. Also in the links below, you'll find out our links to all the socials. We're proper royals across the board, so no problem there. And also you'll find a link to our collection of NFTs if crypto is your game. This month, we're going to talk about a gene called the stranger gene, and I'm not familiar one bit with it. I had to do a whole lot of research. All I know is that I saw a cool ball python that I had to tell you about. So this month's coolest ball python in the world comes from NoCo Exotics, and they're out in northern Colorado is where that comes from. And they have been working with the stranger gene very plainly to see. If you go by their Morph Market store, they have all kinds of cool stuff with the stranger gene. But like I say, I wasn't familiar with it, so before we unveil this coolest ball python in the world this month, let's pick apart the stranger gene really quickly. So it looks like the stranger gene's been around about 9, 10 years, uh, maybe 11 years, looks like 2010. A store, a company, a, a breeder called Ires, I-R-E-S Reptiles, are the ones that, that discovered and proved this gene out. And what's really interesting about it is that it's a dominant or a co-dominant gene. However, the one that they brought it from or that it produced it initially, they don't see it in that animal. So there's still work to be done on figuring out just completely what's going on with this gene, but at the moment it appears to be your, your traditional uh, dom or co-dominant. However, it's very limited. I'll tell you it's very, very pricey right now these days as well, but that's okay. That's how all these things start, right? If you haven't seen the stranger gene, first you should go check out the IRES Reptiles page and you could see this picture right on the front and and the stranger gives this really cool glow because almost each scale gets its own highlighted shadow or, or highlighting on each scale it's really interesting to see the other thing that that stranger does is on its own it's a very very darkening gene on the top and then on the sides it produces this blushing and almost flaming that gives it almost like a black sunset or a purple sunset look or a fade down the side so check out some of these examples of the stranger gene at work and different combos that iris has produced um, in the past and i think these are currently for sale as well so like the stranger spark you get this very very nearly black snake with the yellow and the orange from the spark or yellow belly combination coming up through there the Mojave stranger gives you that striped line like Mojave does uh, Mojave and lesser does with uh, some other combos <clears throat> and then a really cool just gray pixelated side on there look at this butter pastel stranger it looks almost like a highway uh, with stranger on the top there uh, and then it's very common in clowns. It was uh, first produced from a clown. So check out some of these. Here's just a straight stranger clown. And that's the one I was talking about where it like each scale has its own um, emphasis and highlight very very cool and then you can see it does it does neat things to the pattern as well whether it's a clown or whether it's one of these more traditional doms without a recessive it's jumbling up the pattern quite a bit not quite like a monsoon or anything like that but it's providing a lot of pattern shatter, especially if you throw in uh, pastel and this one has specter with it. So if you haven't seen Stranger, keep checking it out. That's a very cool gene in and of itself. But now on to the coolest ball python in the world. So this combo is the Stranger, 
Then they put fire in it. So they're taking that dark, dark gene and lightening it up. And I'm telling you, the purples in this thing are incredible. Then Lesser. Lesser also brightens things up, you know? That has that nice sort of golden, greenish, yellowish hue to it that it brings out as well. And then Red Stripe. What a great addition in there. So you already got the purple going in there. And then these red, brown, purple hues get added as well on top to really accentuate them. I think this is a really genius combo that they've put together. Lastly, it's in a recessive clown visual. So this is a visual clown, stranger, fire, lesser, red stripe. What a cool ball python. I hope you're ready for this thing. So for the first time ever, let's welcome to the proper royal stage, no co exotics with the coolest ball python in the world. Boom, look at this guy. Take that in for a minute. There is so much going on with that snake. How incredible, right? Now I know this is probably, not probably, this is a hatchling. So these colors are super vivid and I, I don't know what'll happen over time. I hope it continues to get more vivid like some genes will do. And I don't know what effect the stranger's gonna have and if, if the blacks and the purples are gonna get darker or if they're gonna fade out. I'm not real sure. But right here, right now, this is a mighty, mighty cool ball python. So let's just start at the snout. Look at the purples and the yellows up there. That's some of the most vivid purple that I've seen on a ball python. And the yellow, you know, always adds great contrast to a purple. You can't go wrong with a yellow and purple. So it's got that clown head stamp on it, the head. Look at those eyes, though. The uh, and they're almost green like you'd expect to see from a pastel that's a very cool head on that thing as you go down the neck you start to see all again all the pixelation each individual scale has its own highlights and emphasis you could see the outline of each scale on there there's a color gradient in each scale it's got that cool prominent line on the top i'm guessing that's coming from the lesser as well as the red stripe on top there and then i know it's the stranger and the red stripe making and that beautiful purple with like even the deeper purple outline uh, right adjacent to that back stripe. How cool. Then as you come down the sides of the body, you got the broken up and, and kind of shattered pattern there, but you could see the effect of lesser in there. And then look at the blushing and the flaming. It goes almost to white on the sides there. That's the fire and the lesser brightening that up incredibly so. And then of course those teardrops and kind of like paint runs that are common in clown. Man, I am just in love with this ball python. This ball python, and I gotta tell you also, all of these pictures are courtesy of No Co Exotics, and these came off of their Morph Market and Instagram page. So if you go to the No Co Exotics Morph Market page, you'll see right off the bat, there's a handful of strangers on there that are very, very cool. Uh, in their own right. Man, that stranger red stripe is about the purplest ball python I've ever seen. Now it's got a lot of pattern that isn't purple, but man, those are those are cool. I am a sucker for a purple snake for sure. So check this out. Here's the Morph Market listing on this guy. And he's a male and yeah, it was listed as just a please inquire on the price. And like I say, just from the market standing of, of this snake, I imagine that, that we're well into the five figures here on this one. Very interesting, he was just, just born last month. This would be our youngest, coolest ball python in the world ever. And I've got to think this is a world's first as well, of course, which um, we have had some world's first on the coolest ball python in the world ever, uh, in the world as well. So what would you pay for this coolest ball python in the world. It's on hold, the deal maybe isn't totally done. Reach out to NoCo Exotics and have a little chat with them. Congratulations to NoCo Exotics on your first ever coolest ball python in the world. NoCo Exotics, you can find them on Morph Market, Instagram, and Facebook. They're very active on all three of those, so go check them out. Keep it right here on the Proper Royals channel to always find out what the coolest ball python in the world is and to see all the cool things that we get into here at Proper Royals. Until next time, see ya!